I always love the sound of hammers banging away. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. I, I just noticed none of you other Danans have spirit cores. Why is that? Both of my parents were part of the resistance in Calaglia. In fact, my birth was kept a secret from the Renans. Mine too. We always lived in hiding, so I never had a spirit core embedded in me like I was supposed to. What about you, Alfin? You were a slave in Calaglia before all this, weren't you? To be completely honest, I'm not sure why I don't have one. All the other Danon slaves around me did. I was the only exception. They tended to keep their distance from me to avoid attracting any attention from the soldiers, because of my mask and all. What about you, Kisara? Do you still have your spirit core? No. I was able to find a good Renin doctor who's sympathetic to our kind and had them remove it before I left. They did such a great job, the procedure didn't even leave a scar. One of the benefits of coexistence, huh? I know that once the spirit vessel was shut down, there wasn't much need for me to hurry. But still, I didn't like having that mark of servitude lingering on me any longer than I had to. It may sound a little strange to hear me say this, but... I'm just me now. Not a guardsman or a slave. I'm my own woman, and this is my chance to have a new beginning. This sure is one rugged road. You'd think they'd keep this at least a little better maintained, right? Why spend energy fixing that which is rarely used? Repairs require time and effort, which in our world means slaves, often in great numbers. Ah. For you, it may be a simple request, but that can quickly become another's difficult burden. Nobody gains anything without someone expending effort. And you know, somehow that someone always ends up being a Danon, while the Renans are the ones who gain. True enough. Ideally, in a perfect world, I think it's only fair that the ones who need it should be the ones to perform the work. However, when doing so could be dangerous like it is here, there are many who would prefer that it be others who risk their lives in their stead. So, what you're saying is that people will just put up with the inconvenience until someone else comes along to fix it for them? Indeed. And it is those who can no longer bear that feeling that inevitably take action. Much like the Danans in our group do so now. As strange as it may be to hear such a thing from the likes of myself. It's true that most of the Danans in Calaglia have been resigned to just accepting things as they are. Still, we can't just blame them for... Uh... What are you making that face for? You're not worn out already, are you? <sighs> nah, just regretting I ever said anything in the first place. weapons with this. Do it! This one's got your name on it! Ask to ask. 
getting stronger. All right. There's nowhere to run from my heart. When he slows down, back's our chance. Some interesting moves there, Dohalim. I'm glad you're on our side. I'm simply glad to hear that I can make myself useful to you all. Huh? What's wrong? We seem to have come across some rather unusual objects. What, you mean that pile of garbage? No mere garbage, I assure you. Still, I've never seen anything shaped like it before. I'm intrigued. Uh, uh... Are you curious about this stuff, Rinwell? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I think he might have found some old Danon relics. They look like the remains of a bunch of objects that disappeared after the Renans first invaded. And yet here I am, holding them without so much as a second thought. I imagine the sight must be unsettling to you. Not really, just that it must be nice to be a Renan who has time to indulge in stuff like that, unlike the rest of us. Are you interested in this stuff too, Dohalim? Charmed may be a better turn of phrase. I simply love objects that can give me a sense of what their maker was thinking, the history that went into their creation. You see, we Renans have hardly any such objects that trace back to our distant past. I still don't understand what you two find so intriguing about it, though. Why not? We're talking about our own culture here. I get that, but it's not like this stuff is any use now, does it? It's just old. Real old. Oh, but it does. Holding it in your hands like this, one can feel and engage with the distant past in a way no history book can ever accomplish. I'll take your word for it. Well, seeing as it's Dan in history, just make sure you're careful with it. All right, Dohalim? But of course.
There's history in the air here. I can smell it. I don't smell anything. Don't encourage him. With your flames and my technique? We're stronger together than we are apart. Visibility along this path will remain limited for some time. Take care not to get ambushed. I'm surprised you know the terrain here so well. Lords don't strike me as having much time for wandering in the woods. Sometimes I would take strolls along here when I wished to be alone. You always did have a bad habit of disappearing without telling any of us guardsmen. What's this thing? here. I can feel my feet getting blisters. That's mountain hiking for you. 
It can be pretty tough if you're not used to these sorts of trails. I take it you're comfortable with them then? Oh yeah. We used to run up and down these slopes all the time for our training exercises. Damn. You weren't messing around. right? Why are guys so obsessed with their muscles? Because these puppies have yet to let me down. Precision improving. I've got your back.
I found some equipment. Let me take... Take a look at it. people even thinking back then trying to build anything around here M maybe they just had that much time and energy on their hands <laughs> through these lands most verdant green my eyes We can't lay a finger on it. I just heard that. What about you? Just watch and see. Dragon Shell! When did I get If it's in the sky, it's mine. Take this! I'm on it! You're done! I'll finish you down! Now you see what I can do! Hard expert! Let's do it! This is the win! I will tell you! Mega Ray! Annihilate! Any injuries?
builds up a sweat with this hike. Rest assured, we have reached the top. It's all downhill from here, quite literally. So Mahog Sar's just up ahead then? Indeed. If you look, across this mountain is the Lord's Keep. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Rising Wyvern! Don't mind if I do. Ignite! Ignite! Hell and Hurricane! Take this! It's Lightning over! Lightning Orb! More with that game, guys! Dragon Swarm! Dance in the wind! Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Cycle! Glacial Spear! Pierce Evil! With this, I can become even stronger! Who's in a bright and shiny mood?
A hard-won victory. Still thinking about how to act around Dohalim? That obvious, huh? Except I don't think I'll be changing much after all. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to stay his servant. However, I am going to treat him like a fellow comrade, the same way I would with you or anyone else. For as long as I can remember, I've spent my life protecting others. But isn't that what friends do too? Support and protect one another in times of need? Which, in the end, pretty much means doing as you've always done, right? If that's what you're most comfortable with, I'm certainly not going to give you any grief over it. Actually, I've been thinking about how I ought to act around you all as well. Oh? When I set out on this journey, it was to rid Eldamen and Sia of its enemies, and search for wisdom in the outside world. Wisdom that I could potentially put to use on my return. I'm grateful to you all for letting me tag along. But it got me thinking. What am I actually contributing by being here? What are you talking about? You know how to hold a weapon, don't you? That's help enough. Is it, though? Sometimes I wish there was more I could be doing to pull my... Oops! Sorry about that. Jeez, I'm famished. Now that you mention it, what do you guys normally do for food and meals when you're out and about on your travels? What do you mean, what do we do? We find stuff to eat and eat it. So long as it's meat, I'm not fussy. Eating what you like can be good for morale in the short term, but you need to think about your diet if you want to stay healthy. Does that mean eating vegetables too? Isn't that obvious? It does, which I guess hasn't been happening up till now. Yeah, to be honest, we could be eating better than we do. Understood. In that case, I'll just have to make sure you're all staying healthy and eating right myself. Fortunately, I happen to know a thing or two about cooking as well. You hear that, Law? Sounds like you'll be eating your greens after all. Ugh. What is it? No, sorry, it's just... I was just wondering if you had any thoughts on all this. It will do her good to have a project. No, not Kisara. I meant you. Was there anything you wanted to add? Me? Certainly you're not looking to me for culinary skill, I hope. <laughs> Typical Renan, leaving everything to someone else. Rinwell, I don't think... That said, should you need my skills on the battlefield, please rest assured I have no intention of shirking my responsibilities, regardless of who we may face. I'm sure no one doubts that. Listen, guys, if we're traveling together, we should probably at least try to make an effort to get to know one another, don't you think? I wouldn't get your expectations too high in that regard. Believe it or not, sometimes I'm not sure I even know myself all that well. Hmm. Something wrong? You look like you're deep in thought. Not exactly. I was merely thinking about you two and your sense of etiquette. Uh, oh? Etiquette? Indeed. To be quite frank, I find your lack of manners to be nigh intolerable. 
That's not being frank, that's being an... and... forget it. Do we really need to talk about this now? Yes. I find such impropriety on your parts to be deeply unsettling. It concerns me greatly. What do you want us to do? We were slaves. We never got to learn how to be proper like you. Yeah, what he said. Maybe you missed how we were just focused on surviving. Perhaps, but Kisara here demonstrates that it's quite possible for a Denon to learn proper manners. That's because I was given the opportunity to learn. Moreover, my duties as a guardsman required it. Not every realm is like Menencia, as you well know. Yeah, I don't think it's fair to hold us to some other city standards. Exactly! You've got to remember what it's been like for us living under the Rena elsewhere. Hmm. I, I will concede that you do indeed make a valid point. It would appear, for all my espousing the virtues of equality between our peoples, I was still looking down on the two of you. You don't need to beat yourself up. I wasn't that offended by what you said, man. Nevertheless, I shall mind my words from here on out. Having said that, I do believe you two would still benefit from learning the basics of proper society. I would be more than happy to teach you both when we camp out, if you like. Yeah, no, I'll pass. Acting all prim and proper isn't really my style. If you say so. How about you, Law? Would you like to learn? Although I suppose my first task is to reform your attitude toward the idea of good etiquette. You're not gonna let this go, are you? kind of shrine so it's still a house in a sense just for a god moving.
my airborne scum. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! See you continue on in that thing. Uh, yes, my lady? Something you wanted to say? The enemy heals our fleet. You'll soon see about that! Soda, do it! You're mine! This one's got your name on it! Action to action! I'm on it! You're on it! Where are you going? Alright! This one's all mine! I'm on the way! Let's do it! Demon's defense! Flashing back! No! He picked it! Be stronger. in that vein.
With this, I can become even stronger. This will make us even more formidable. that big tower over there.
Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Let's see. I've cooked, cleaned, and sewn. I think that's everything for today. Dohalim, your spare bracers were getting dirty, so I polished them up along with the rest of your equipment. Why, thank you, Kisara. I greatly appreciate that. Maybe it's just my imagination, but you sure seem to fuss over Dohalim a whole lot, Kisara. It is a little strange. Almost like you're still in his service. Really? That's certainly not my intention. Besides, he's not the only one I'm like that with. Hey, Law? I saw your clothes were starting to get holes in them, so I stitched them back up for you. Oh, wow! Thanks, Kisara. Point taken. Do you just like looking after people? I wouldn't go so far as to say I like it, but I get anxious if I don't. I'd always like to help if I can. It comes naturally to me. Back in the day, Miguel and I used to look after the younger kids a lot, so that's probably where it comes from. He taught me everything I know, and I mean everything. How to cook with wild plants, how to sew clothes so they'll last. Without him, we never would have been able to survive. However, you're not a lord anymore, Dohalim. You need to get used to the idea that people aren't just going to wait on you hand and foot. Yes, you're absolutely right. I'm ashamed to admit that I felt no qualms about her doing all that for me. As both a Renan and especially as a lord, one becomes too accustomed to those beneath you tending to your every need, both Renans and Danans alike. Sure, that's how all you Renans are probably raised. But just to be clear, we're not your servants, Dohalim. Got that? Absolutely. Moments such as this provide me with ample opportunity to confront my unease. It is difficult to tend with my own motivations. What do you mean? The truth of the matter is that my espousal of coexistence in Menencia hardly came from an idealistic place. That instinctive unease I feel deep within serves as a reminder for what it is that I, that all of us here fight for. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one's going to abandon you if you aren't always perfect. Looking at her now, I think she's more like his mom than his servant. Mind if I join you, Law? Hmm? Oh, hey, Alfin. What's up? Nothing. I was just surprised to see you weren't training for once. Got a stomach ache or something? Uh, you know I don't literally train around the clock, right? I do take breaks. Do you? It seems like you're training every chance you get. Well, yeah. It can't be helped if I want to get stronger. Still, it's important to let your muscles rest every now and then. That's what my dad told me anyway. Zephyr said that? When I was a little kid, yeah. I would get so excited whenever he came home. I always followed him wherever he went and tried to learn as much from him as I could. He said, it's good to be passionate, but don't overdo it. Just like there are times when you want to take a break from studying, sometimes your body wants to take a break from training, too. I was always rushing around and forgetting to rest, so he ended up telling me that a lot. <laughs> that definitely sounds like him. 
It's nothing to get sad over. Still, I can't help but wonder if that was my dad's way of teaching me the dangers of rushing into things too quickly. Then again, maybe I'm just overthinking things. I wish I'd had more time to talk to him about this kind of stuff. <laughs> I'll take guard duty tonight. It's fine. You guys ready to hit the road? I know I am. Not this way, I guess. This way, I guess. Coming face me! Perfect! Great! What 
if they just sit still! Sia, can you take care of them? No sooner said than done! No further! Lady Fortune must truly be watching over me. Hey, let's stop for a minute. What's up? You already tired? My armor's pretty heavy. I think I need a little rest. I second that. All of this walking is starting to take its toll on me as well. What? You don't look it. We can't spare the time. There's places we need to be. Mahogsar's capital, Niez, is our destination right now. But if one of us collapses, it will only serve to slow us down. And in your case, Alfin is the only one who could carry you. Best to rest while you have the opportunity. I... Enough already! I need a break, so we're taking one. I don't need you fretting over me. Fretting? Hey, it's not like I'm... Looking for you. For me, why? <laughs> He's tough. Who are you? said you were looking for me. Why? Beautiful, precious life. What the? That is all I desire. Then why are we fighting? Who even are you? Here, this is looking good. Who the hell are you? Bastard! This guy's not normal! His speed is unbelievable! You mean he even surpasses a lord? I can handle it! I'll bring you back right to the Get on it there! Annihilation! Most of the way! Here I come! Let's go! 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 Did you just hear me? I need you, remember? Right. Can't get out of this! I'll heal you all! Take this! I'm on it! Look at the door! Not in your dreams! I'm on it! Resuscitation! Light the the medicine working!
Is that all that you've got? Very well. Then die. <gasps> Wake up, please! Alfin? Shion! Thanks, but you're kind of crushing me. Oh, sorry. It's okay. And so am I. Uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Not bad? That's... Shion, we thought I'm you fine. were... I'm fine. Really. What the hell were you thinking? Well, you were trying to protect me too, you know. Yeah, but I have the sword. It's different. It's not different. Besides, I... Hmm? Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, uh, thank you. But I didn't. <sighs> Look, I'm just glad that you're... Uh? Alfin? Sorry, I... That guy said he'd be back. I think maybe we should get moving before he returns, right? Rinwell has a good point. We need to go. Shion, are you sure you're okay? Shion, are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I already applied some healing arts to it. It didn't even leave a scar. But his sword went nearly straight through you. I'm all right. Unless I've turned into some kind of ghost and I'm haunting you all right now. No, I know you're not. It's just... Look, I appreciate you looking out for me, but I'm fine, really. There was also that strange light that appeared when Xion was stabbed. It seemed to make the enemy retreat when he saw it. Alfin, do you have any idea what it might have been? A light? I don't know. I was kind of preoccupied with other things at the time. Hmm. Now that I think of it, between that light and the blazing sword, just what sort of person are you, Alfin? Can you use Dan and astral arts like Rinwell, perhaps? He wouldn't know, Dohalim. He doesn't have any memories from his past, remember? Besides, we should really be getting out of here. I suppose you're right. Forgive me. We've almost reached Nias, the capital of Mahagsar. With any luck, we'll find a place there for Xion to rest. <sighs> hey! Hmm. How are you holding up after that last fight? You're not too hurt, are you? I'm fine, really. See for yourself. If things get too tough out there, go ahead and fall back. I can take a beating if I need to. 
I'm not here just to stand around and have everyone protect me. I get that, but there's nothing wrong with admitting you have weaknesses, too. Do I look like I'm just trying to put on a brave face to you? Uh... <laughs> I can't feel pain. But you still can, can't you? <sighs> look, I appreciate your trying to look out for me, but even you go down in fights from time to time. Please, stop trying to babysit me. It's getting old. It's not that. I just... Are we in the right place? This place looks like a mess. Yes, this is Niez, the capital of Mahag Sar. I don't see any signs of people. And the buildings. Yeah, this doesn't seem like the kind of place people would actually live. No soldiers, no Danans, not a soul to be seen. Yet look at these facades. This is clearly a Renan district. Hey, check out that drawing on the castle gate. That's the Darkwing's crest. It's from an old Danon legend about a hero who defeated an evil king with a torch and their trusty owl. That's his crest. I'm sure of it. Really? First time I'm hearing it. So if someone drew it on the gate... It must mean the Renans have lost control of the city. Are you suggesting the Danans rose up and defeated the Lord here? Hard to believe, but not entirely unthinkable, given the evidence. Let's look around and see if we can find someone. They might be able to tell us what happened. <sighs> this is horrible. Is there truly no one here? All of these ruins look like they were made pretty recently. But if that's the case, then where do you think the people that used to live here went off to? There must have been Danans and Renans, right? That's a good question. Even if the Danans rebelled and managed to overthrow the Renans here, there should still be some people around. This debris... Do you think it could be the work of Renan Astral Arts? Perhaps. But the appearance of these ruins is rather uniform. Which leads me to believe otherwise. Hey, Rinwell. That story you told us about the Dark Wings. It said that the evil king was vanquished with a holy flame, right? Yeah, that's right. Then there might be some truth to that old story after all. It looks like all the rubble here had been scarred by flames. Let's not jump to any conclusions just yet. If we can find someone around here, we might be able to get them to tell us what happened. Oh, Halim, you forgot to take care of the fire yesterday. What do you mean, take care of? Ah, yes. You meant to put it out? Yep. 
If it stays lit, we could end up in real trouble real fast. I see. I apologize for not realizing that. I shall be more careful in the future. The way he's talking, it's like the thought of putting it out himself never even occurred to him. Moving on, Dohalim, I should mention that the clasp for your cape is about to come undone. Oh yes, I tried to fix that myself, but it simply refused to cooperate with me. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Are you telling me Renans can't even dress themselves? Lords like Dohalim have attendants that take care of just about everything they need, so I'm not surprised he sometimes struggles with the basics. Even by those standards, you've got to admit this is still a little extreme. Shion has got a point. I mean, you don't see Renans like her needing so much help to get stuff done. In my case, circumstances forced me to learn how to be independent. Even so, I still think Dohalim could afford to pick up a few more self-sufficient skills. Hmm. Well, specifically speaking, what would you suggest that I learn? For starters, I think it'd be good for you to learn how to dress. And put on shoes. How to comb your hair is equally important. And learning to manage your possessions better. And then from there... She sounds like his mom rattling all that off. Oh, and another thing. About your owl, Rinwell. What? what is it? When he starts to molt, would you be willing to give me his old feathers? I think I could find a use for them. What do you intend to do with those? Well, recently, I haven't been sleeping well. However, I hear pillows made from owl feathers are very comfortable and wish to make one. <laughs> this is why I hate you, Renans! Did I say something offensive? Next time, put your own needs aside for a second and think about how someone might react first. Then consider if it's worth asking at all. <laughs>